Okay, so in this problem, we have to fill in the steps to derive the Sakur Tatrodi equation, um, and that's equation 249. And uh, the way we're gonna do it, just like it suggests, uh, we're gonna start uh, with equation uh, 240, and that's after the derivation for the model of the ideal gas. So um, I will start by writing that out. So the multiplicity is equal to uh, one over n factorial v to the n h to the 3n Okay, and uh, like usual, uh, to get to the uh, entropy, we have to ln this because uh, s is equal k ln the multiplicity. So we're gonna ln the blue equation and do some Stirling's approximation on some of the terms and uh, uh, arrive at the Sakur Tatrodi equation. So ln. So I'm going to ln the blue equation on both sides. Uh, this whole thing here. Let me try to copy and paste so I don't have to rewrite this whole thing again. Okay, so that, so I don't have to rewrite it again. We're gonna end this. Okay, now applying the properties of uh, ln, uh, it's gonna be a plus for whoever is in the numerator and a minus for whoever is in the denominator uh, so this will get me uh, minus ln n factorial since n factorial is in the denominator uh, then comes uh, uh, so ln v to the n and as you know I'm just gonna drop the n the power and put it here so that's a plus since it's in the numerator and then I have minus so I'm going in order 3n again this is a power ln h uh, plus 3n over 2 ln pi sorry ln pi Uh, I should have started a bit to the left because uh, this is a long one. Let me just uh, drag it to the left a little bit. Okay. Uh, minus ln 3n over 2 factorial all inside the ln plus uh, 3n over 2 ln u ln 2 and u ok 
okay so uh, let's apply Sterling's approximation on this guy as we know this is equal to uh, minus n l n n minus n second term stays the same third term stays the same fourth term stays the same we'll apply sterling's approximation on this one so my on this one here so minus 3n over 2 ln 3n over 2 minus 3n over 2 so this whole thing is here the whole term and then the last one stays the same 3n over 2 ln 2mu okay so continuing with simplifying this is going to be minus n ln n plus n Uh, let's see all the terms have an n so I could have factored an n on my way out uh, because the final equation has an n outside uh, uh, let's just I'll come back to this so Okay, so if I factor out an n, I'm gonna get minus ln n plus 1. Plus v. Oh, we factored out the n. So I just factored out an n from every single term. Okay, so uh, 1 plus 3 halves is 5 halves. So we're trying to get to that equation. Okay, so let's see 5 halves. Uh, plus so let me just rearrange the terms a little bit l and v minus l and n and then we have uh, the four pi and mu Okay, so let me wrap the 3 over 2. One second. Uh, L and V. Uh, 3. So minus L and H. So I'm going to bring the power up. Here too, on the pi.
Okay, so we wrapped up, we wrapped up the powers from um, in front of the ln to the exponent on most of these terms. Uh, okay, and now we just uh, uh, sum up the logs. So whoever is plus goes into one log, all the logs into one ln. Whoever is plus goes on top, whoever is minus goes in the bottom. So we will get s equal n ln. So these two guys here will be v over n. And uh, we've got uh, let's see, uh, we have um, pi goes on top, 3 over 2, h3, 2 mu, 3 halves all over the minuses oops wait this h cube is on the bottom uh, 3 over 2 anything else uh, no that's it so this is all inside the same ln. Okay, and uh, if we simplify the algebra here a bit, what have we got in here? 2 to the 3 halves and 2 to the 3 halves can cancel. Uh, oh, whoops, uh, wait one second. This is, no, this is going to become a 4 because they're going to multiply. 4 to the 3 halves. So we're going to get the final answer to be n ln v over n. We have a pi. Uh, let's see. Did I forget a pi somewhere? No. So this is pi to the 3 halves okay so we have a 4 and a pi both raised to the 3 halves and a u raised to the 3 halves right and in the denominator we have 3n raised to the 3 halves and uh, h uh, well we could include this under the whole thing to the three halves. Let me put this in a bracket, right? Because uh, this will get me uh, h cubed uh, uh, and this needs a square so it can become an h cubed because it's h cubed on top uh, plus the f oh wait I forgot here the plus five halves, right? plus 5 over 2 okay plus 5 halves that's it so this is all inside the ln plus 5 over 2 and this is the uh, Sakur <coughs> excuse me the Sakur Tetrodi equation has derived That concludes this problem. Simple derivation with some Stirling's approximation. Of course, after the whole ideal gas model was built up for you in the section, in which I do go through a different recording and show how it got there. You could watch that if you're interested in how we got to this multiplicity first equation we started here with.